This virus test net got launched two days ago. For those of you who actually started around last week, before they shut it down as a result of some maintenance and some things that need to be adjusted on the platform, now you can start all over again. Everybody can start again. Whether you are old or you are new, the testnet just got started again and afresh two days back. And how do you get started? You just need to click on the link on the description below this video. After you've clicked on the link, it will take you to the website and it's going to reflect or show like this. What do you need to do on the testnet? The testnet is very simple and straightforward and it's actually easy to navigate. If you follow the instruction I'm giving you on this video. Now, the first thing you do on the testnet on the website, after you've clicked on the link below the description below, after you've clicked on the link on the description below this video, now the, the first thing you do is to click here. You can see you will see connect wallet. Connect wallet there. You are going to connect your wallet. And once you connect wallet, you verify and confirm your wallet, then it will reflect your wallet. After you've done that, the next phase you do is that you are going to see check-in here. Check-in here. You can see that out of all my daily check-in to show that the testnet began like on Friday. We start, I started here where you are seeing this. I checked in yesterday. I checked in today, making the second days the second day of the test net. Then just check in. Once you check in, just click here and it will ask you to verify on the wallet. Then once you have checked in, then it will tick it for you. Now, after you've done that, you will notice that on the page, your progress here is not like mine. Is on, perhaps your own is on level one or just starting level one. And you can see I'm already close to level three. For you to achieve this progress, you need to do something. You need to complete social tax. You will scroll down. You will notice that here we see on-chain task. If you scroll down, you are going to see social task. You are going to see social tax. This is social tasks you have to do. Then you just need to follow them, retweet about them, reply, and you join the Discord. When you do all these things, verify them all. After you verify them all, then... You are going to see your level, in your progress to have improved, getting to level three. That is about that. Now, after you've done your social tax, the next stage is for you to do your on-chain task. This is on-chain task. Just perform all these on-chain tax. And what do you do on the on-chain tax? You swap. You provide liquidity. And you send token to friends. It's very easy as that. Before you do this, you need four set token. Before you do this, you need four sets. It is four sets that will enable you to run any transaction you want to perform on the on chain. The four set is not a real token. It's a token given to you by the platform to test run the chain, to test run the platform to test on the DAP application. Do you understand? It's very easy. How do you get the full set? Now, you are going to see on the link below this video, on the description below this video, you will see the full set link I drop. Then you click and claim the full set. Once you click on the link to the full set that I also drop on the description below this video, then you just have to scroll down on the link in the page. You will see here, you will see claim testnet token. And what do you what can you claim? You can only claim 0 0.2 PHRS every 24 hours. Then the most, since you have already connected your wallet, your wallet will reflect here and you will claim here. You can see it's still counting for me. I did my own, I performed my testnet interaction some some minutes back. That's why you are seeing 23 hours ago, 23 hours, 17 minutes. Means in the next 23 hours, 17 minutes, I will come and clean faucet again. After you see that, after you've seen that, you just have to click to tick, tick on this box that I'm not a robot and to solve the capture. 
Then you click clip and it you will receive the full set to your wallet. After you've done that, come back to the page. After you've done that, just come back to the main page. Then you are going to, you've got the full set token. The first thing you do is to swap. Click on the swap. Just tap on the swap. It will lead you to the website where you are going to swap. If I tap on swap, it's going to take me to this website. Make sure that your wallet is highly connected. And once it is connected to show you the for the number of or the amount of faucet you have already on PHRS, then you just click on select token and you pick you can pick USDT and then you can just swap. Let's say I want to swap 0 0.1. Just just manage it. Or you can even swap 0 0.05. 0 0.05 and then you swap it. You wait for the fetching quote. Once it reflects, it, you will see this swap showing very well for you. Then you'll be able to swap. You can see it has shown. I'm swapping 0 0.05 to USDT. Then I can just click on swap. Then it pop up this. Then I can scroll it up or draw it up. Then I click on confirm swap. After you've clicked, it's going to pop up your wallet, then you confirm it. If you've confirmed it, you'll be waiting for, for verification on the chain, for the chain to verify the transaction. Now, once it is complete, then it will notify you. You can see swap submitted. Then I've already swapped like that. That is the tax. Then I can minimize and go back. After you've done that, make sure you there's no minimum or maximum amount of what you can do on the swap page. You can swap, you can swap, and you can swap back. You can swap PHRS Faris to USDT and swap back. You can also make use of other other currency like USDC. You get and swap and swap back. Make sure you have something on USDT. Now we now need to provide liquidity. Click to provide liquidity. It will take you to the liquidity page. Once you've actually clicked on the liquidity to deposit, then you click on new pool. Then you are going to see this place. Just pick PHRS and select USDT. Make sure you have already swapped a bit of token to your USDT. Kindly click here. Pick any of this. But you can pick 0.05 PS. Then it's going to show very well or reflect very well. On the aspect of USDT, just put 0. Point, perhaps 0. Point, 0, 0.2. You can see 0. 0.2 worth one dollar. You can just see preview. Click on preview. Then add liquidity. Confirm it from your wallet. Once it pops up, confirm it. Then you can see transaction submitted close. That simply means that you have actually provided liquidity. You can see the liquidity I've provided. You can see it there. And you can open it if you want to open it. And you can decide to, to increase your liquidity or remove the liquidity. You get that's about how to provide liquidity on the Faro's testnet. Also, don't forget that before you provide liquidity, you must have swapped from Faros to, to USDT. Make sure you have fun in USDT and in Faros. Now, after you've done that, the next thing, which is the last thing we do here, is to send to friends. You can decide to send part of your phone to your friend. Just click on send, and you can just put the amount, or you can decide to select the amount from any of these automated amounts here, I can pick 0 0.01, enter the address. Let me put this and then send. Wait for it. Confirm it on the 
on your wallet. Then it's going to show submitter. You can see verification successful. It means that we have been able to swap deposit to provide liquidity and send to friends and completing all the social tax. Make sure that you check in every day, check in every day, and that actually helps you. And in case you are looking for wallet to send to, at, in, if you want to send to a friend, my wallet is under the description below this video. And you can also drop your wallet for people to also interact with you. That's why you need to join my Telegram channel so that you'll be able to relate with other people to send and you send to them. All right, guys, if this, you find this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for further updates. And don't forget to share with your friends as well to get started. Bye for now.